So I spent the last 20 years in financial services, uh, living near and around New York City, the metropolitan area. It's the, the largest industry in the area, uh, and was looking for a change. And my kids are 13, 11, and 6, and very influential in my wife and I and in, in our lives and the decisions that we make, and really have been focused on trying to find a balance between lifestyle uh, and, and the family and also keeping in mind sort of our core values around healthy living and healthy choices and trying to instill that upon our kids. And as we were looking around, fresh healthy vending seemed to hit on a lot of those things that were core values to us that seemed like they were core values to fresh healthy vending as well. I I'm, I'm keep, like to keep things simple and if I can spend a year of my time trying to get to a point of educating myself and doing what I needed to do to get the business to a point that Fresh and Healthy could get me day one, why spend the year and the time and the money to do that when I can walk in with them a turnkey solution and have my business up and running very quickly. We looked at a couple of the the others in this space and frankly for me it was again the, the infrastructure that I saw the support that I saw in particular I think that the two things that stood out to me were that it wasn't selling me a machine it was more helping me to build a business and developing the concept around the fresh healthy vending idea and the two main things that supported that were the technical aspects that the company's providing with the support around the machines and how they operate and how to set them up, but also on the front end of helping me to find appropriate locations that also were gonna support the mission of Fresh and Healthy. The thing that really excites me is there's, a, there is a, there's change coming, right? And if you look around and, and you read the things that are happening from from guidelines in schools to Michelle Obama and all the stuff that's happening around us and right in my area in New York City with the battle that they've been waging with the mayor and uh, the labeling and the things that are going on with respect to food and choices and options, it's a changing world. And I saw this as a business opportunity to go along with that changing environment. It's very collaborative. The, the process is not a fresh healthy vending is doing this and Craig is doing that and the right hand doesn't know what the left hand is doing and back and forth. It's very much and, and it's very new for me. We've only been signed on as a, as a franchisee for 45 days uh, and in that time I've spoken to our territory managers, one of our territory managers, if not every day, every other day. Uh, since we started this process and we're back and forth with ideas, we're back and forth with communication to the locations we're trying to procure, so it's very collaborative in that process. Uh, I can be as involved as I need to be or want to be, but I have all the confidence in the world with the team here to go out and find me great locations that will be great partnerships for my business. We've got five locations that are already procured and the pipeline is full. When I go back home this weekend, I start out Monday, I have two meetings on Monday of potential locations and a handful of other meetings over the next two weeks that are already in place waiting for me to walk in the door. So I have every confidence that we're going to have all 23 machines placed even more quickly than I ever imagined. Right now, there's been a, a big focus on YMCA's, community centers, and those kinds of things. But the, probably the most interesting one that was a little bit surprising to me was we, we got a location for three machines in a large public library system in a large, in a large community in Connecticut. And the thing that was, that was most interesting to me about that was that they actually wanted this and were so intrigued by this that they went back to their monthly board of directors meeting, 
changed the bylaws of the library to allow for food and drinks in the library for the first time ever and putting three machines into the library. Prior to coming to today's training, I was already out talking to potential locations and I knew from what I read in the manuals and I knew what I was told on the phone, but it wasn't the same as being able to come here, touch and feel the machines, have the people walk me through and really in detail explain what it is that we're doing and how we're doing it and, and what makes it different from the other things that are in the marketplace. So for me, it's extraordinarily beneficial to be able to have this kind of hands-on training and then to be able to walk back into my local community in, in Connecticut and deliver that message. The fact that the machines are all uh, connected uh, to the internet and it's, you have this ability to really deliver a superior product and a superior experience because of technology. And in, in my opinion, and everything that we're doing is changing. The way that we deliver many things in our lives today is different than it was five years ago and dramatically different than it was 10 years ago. And people think about vending and people think about an old, rickety, dark, maybe dirty kind of machine that's in the basement in the corner. And that's not what this is. This is significantly different. And a lot of that has to do with the technology and the way that it's delivered and the way that we can be responsive to people through the use of technology. I'm, I'm wide open. Uh, right now, I think that the growth is gonna be determined by the reception that we get from the machines that we place and we'll take it from there. I view this as this is a business and the, the opportunity because of this change that we see happening today I think is tremendous and so we're going to be, my wife and I and, and my family, we're going to be open-minded to if the opportunity is there and we continue to see the, the reception by the local communities surrounding us in Connecticut, we're going to try and deliver as much as we can into the community. Thank <laughs> you.